Wait a minute, I think it's too thick. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel! Oh wait lang, I'll just start on the light. Hey guys, it's Nikki. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Oh, my kila is just like your typical kila. It's not that hairy. Tama lang siya. But what I'm gonna be doing today is I'm going to enhance it. I'm gonna be making it a bit feathery so that it will look thicker. I'm a bit paos. Actually, I have sore throat right now. Honestly, I'm not good in putting makeup. I just want to show you guys how I do my feathery eyebrow look. I have my base already. I just put on some CC cushion. I applied some lip tint. But then I just want to complete the look. I just want to make my eyebrows a bit thicker. I'm just going to enhance it. Recently, I found a product that will make your eyebrows a bit bushy, a bit feathery. By the way, guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit like, comment, and subscribe for more. Just going to clip my hair. So let's now start on the eyebrow product yet. I'll be sharing guys some techniques to make it a bit feathery. It's kind of trendy nowadays. Actually having beautiful brows just makes up the look. So I'm going to be using this product from Caroline. Best brow liner in the shade though. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to feel I'm going to try to make it a bit thicker. So I'm just going to start at the end. It's a bit darker here in front. It's just a bit lighter. So let's fill it up. It's very easy. Even though you don't know how to put eyebrow makeup, just start at the end. Just going to follow it. It's going to fill up in front. Um, it's darker compared to this one, so I'm just going to define it more. So it's up to you if you want to make it thicker, but I think this is okay. I'm going to get my spoolie to blend it out upwards. There, so that you could just fix your hair strokes. Also, if you're looking for a shade, make sure that the shade matches your hair color so that it looks really natural. On the left one, just trace it. Just look at it if it looks the same. Now that we're done filling it up, just going to take my spoolie to blend it upwards just so that your hair will stay in place. Yeah, I think it's okay already. After using your best brow liner, you can use this gel, but I will skip this one. But this is an essential product. It's from Sunny Space Live Brow Grooming Gel in Warm Brown. Without this, you won't achieve that one because this will really hold on the hair. So without this product, your eyebrows won't be feathery. So it looks like this, guys. The product is just little, but it's really worth it. I think it's around $345. I'm not sure about that. It's a tiny wand. When you put it in your eyebrows, it will not touch your skin, but it will touch the hair only. So excited already. Just going to zoom it. Wait. See that? Just start at the end and just focus on the hair strokes. It's okay if it gets thicker. So just try your best to make it stand upwards. A bit in front just to comb it in zigzag motion. There, there, there. See? 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 See that? Look. Look at that. Before and after. See? It's more defined. More defined. So I'm just going to fix it. The magic happens already. You don't have key light. This is the product that will really make your eyebrows thicker. It's really hard like a gel. I think it's really okay. As you can see that, it's more defined. Look closely. You can actually see the hair strokes. Before and after. can see my brows on the right is already thicker compared to this one so I'm just going to do the same thing just gonna get a tiny product just doing this so that I don't really get lots of product so I'm just going to do the same thing on the left side and see the magic happens wait I'm just going to fix it so you can just do a bit of retouch so that the hair strokes in front will look thicker Stroke upwards, just do zigzag motions to hold the hair on place. The brows are now more defined and a bit messy. No. 
it a minute. I think it's too thick. It's up to you to make it thicker. I just made it more obvious by applying more product so that you guys can really see the before and after of the brows. So that's how I do my bushy brows. I'm getting this pulley and just fix it. So if you think you don't have thick eyebrows, here's the product that you should get. If you look closely and if you take pictures, you can really see the hair strokes. After doing my brows, it's a bit thicker already. It is thick, Nikki. It's really thick. Look, you actually see the hair strokes. What I'm doing is I'm just going to do my makeup already because it's Father's Day today. So I'm going to be showing you guys how I get ready. I don't know guys if you're used to my brows. I'm not really used to it. Just a bit. But look at the hair stroke guys. It looks really natural. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm just going to apply makeup. I'll be showing you guys as well. Just a very quick makeup. So I'm just going to... Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's from Tracy E. My brush from Innisfree. That's just my eyeshadow palette. It's just to do a very quick makeup look. I'm gonna be starting in the blush first. In the shade Soft Salmon. By the way, it's my favorite blush from Tracy E. I got this in Hong Kong. Let's tip my hair. I'm going to get my, my eyeshadow palette. I'm just going to be using my fingers as well. Just going to get the lightest color. I like using my fingers because it's really easy. It's gonna keep getting the darker color and put in here. I'm gonna blend that later on. Then I'm gonna be getting like the lightest color, like the shimmery in the middle. Getting my Tracy in mirror just to blend everything. There. I think the shadow is okay. Just going to get just a darker shade at the end. To be honest, I just use my fingers in applying makeup. I just like blending colors in my face. So I'm gonna be using a mascara from Maybelline. It's the Maybelline the Hyper Curl Waterproof. It's my favorite mascara. With this product, um, it just curls down my lashes. I'm gonna be using this. with few strokes so that my lashes really look obvious. Something went to my eye. Well, I'm just gonna be using my finger to curl my lashes. Ta-da! See that? Left. That's already okay. Finger to curl my lashes. After that one, as you can see, I already have my blush, my eyeshadow, my eyebrows, key lion fleek. I'm gonna be using sleek makeup just to highlight my face. Again, I like using my fingers when applying makeup because sometimes I don't have time to wash my brushes. And then if I don't wash it, then I get pimples, which is really bad. Just make sure that your hands are clean. Just use my fingers. Wait, we're not yet done. Since so, in the makeup, I'm just complete the look. I'm gonna be using the Vice Ganda Contour to contour. Just use area where you don't have highlight because it's gonna look shiny. Here, just like that. And then, just to contour my face. So just blend it. Because later on, I might sweat. I'm gonna apply a bit on my forehead. For my lips, I'm gonna be using a lip balm. Or wait, from 3CE. 3CE Style Nanda Plumping Lips just to make your lips a bit bigger. Then I'm looking for my favorite lip balm. My favorite is from Holicaholica Water Drop Lip Balm. It has a nice color, it's like a lip tint. I love this. It has a very natural color. It's either I just use the lip tint, but I'm gonna be using Bullet Lip Gloss from 3CE. That's it for my makeup look. Either I like to mist my face 
Whoa, it's so strong. Now let it. I haven't brushed my hair yet. This will be my look for Father's Day as well. I'm just gonna change my top layer. As you can see, my brows are more defined. And with the help of Sonny's face, it helps keep your hair strokes in place. And my brows are a bit thicker, like key lion flake. So this is what my brows look like in a different lighting. Wait, I'm just gonna be using like natural lighting. Just a bit there. As you can see guys, it looks really natural. My brows look thick. But then you can actually see the actual hair strip. Here's the final look. The brows. Hey guys, so that's it for today's look. So that's it for today's look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching my how-to bushy brows. Well, if you guys enjoyed watching, don't forget to hit like, comment, and to subscribe for more. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Um, it's just a very simple look. And look at my bushy brows now. As you can see, my brows are more defined. It's a bit thicker compared earlier. On this face, Life Brow is the only product you need. Plus, I prefer Caroline Best Brow Liner. But you can use any eyebrow pencil. But just make sure to have this on his face because this will really hold on your hair. Um, it's like a gel if you touch it. It keeps your hair strokes in place. What I like to do is just keep the hair upwards. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. See you guys on my next video. Bye! Love you all. Hope you guys have a great day.